Hello everyone and welcome to another Yachtway Spotlight. Today I am going to take you on a full thorough walkthrough of this Sirena 88 by Sirena Yachts. And if you're looking for the perfect boat to play hide and seek on, then this is the boat for you. This is not a normal 88 footer. This literally feels like a 100 footer with its very interesting quirks and features. So come with me and let's take a look. All the way on the flybridge, all the way in the back, you have a nice lounge area with uh, removable furniture, so you can set it up really whatever way you like. So if you wanna have yoga mats over here for exercising, you can do that, or set it up as a lounge area, which it is right now. As we keep walking, you have a very nice hard top, proper galley with a barbecue, that is a wolf barbecue. So no joking around over here, you can make the best burgers or lobster that you freshly caught at the flybridge. Nice countertops, very nicely finished everything. A lot of storage underneath. Bar, a wet bar that has nice sink, fridges, ice makers, whatever you like, everything is here. And what's also really neat is everything behind you is nicely opened, but with a good window that comes, you know, almost to your, uh, to your belt level, so you don't feel like you're gonna fall out. Also, all the Side panels have been really well utilized, so you have storage cubbies everywhere, making sure that no space is wasted. As we keep walking over here, nice bar stools. Now, what's neat about these bar stools is they look like they're perfectly set up over here. Whatever way you put them, they go back to the dead center, which is I really like because you know what? When getting in is good, you don't have to rotate yourself back, it does it for you. Super comfortable, huh? Behind you, you have a dining table. This one is set up right now as two separate tables. But what you can do, move this out, pull this leg out and lift the table over it. So now you have a bigger table and you slide this whole thing to, uh, forward and fold the other one open so you can easily dine, you know, eight, 10 people over here, no problem whatsoever. Fold it back in, hide this away. Now you have two separate tables above me. You have a bimini that opens up, so this whole canvas folds into it, so you have nice sunlight that you can let in over here as well, which is really nice. Love seat facing forward, super neat, and obviously your captain's helm seat. Everything is very nicely at your fingertips. More electronics that I would know what, to, what they do, but you have everything over here, your compass, your dual, uh, Garmin monitors, this is bigger than 20, 23 inches. Your autopilot, your Humphrey trim tabs, everything is at your fingertips and everything is redundant with two VHF radios over here, as well as your joystick control and your bow stern thrusters. Even though it's a really big ship, it's not even a boat anymore. Your top speed is 25 knots and uh, at nine knots, you have a range of basically 2,300 nautical miles, which is super incredible. And this is also a CEA category boat. All the information about the boat, obviously you can find on yachtway.com. This video is brought to you by Yachtway. If you're looking to buy a modern yacht, then visit yachtway.com. Platform made for the 21st century. And these are the boats recently listed for sale around the world. Didn't find what you're looking for? Yachtway will connect you with an authorized dealer near you and get you on board the best looking boat on the water. You can tell that the boat is no longer a boat, it's a ship if you have an intercom system across the board. So you can choose uh, which area you would like to talk with, especially for the crew to communicate with. They can choose the area and talk via the intercom system over here. Very cool. Carrying it on with the quirks and features on this boat, you have also a third helm station hidden away under this panel. So we lift it up. So now, voila, you have an access to your joystick, your bow thruster, your stern thruster, and of course your throttles, as well as your, your ignition, your emergency start stop, everything is over here. So if the captain needs, then they can easily come here and see as they dock on the port side, 
and when they do starboard, then obviously they can use the helm station that we just came from. So the layout of this boat is very unique. Right in front of the flybridge and the helm station, you have a super nice lounge bed with cup holders, your backrest that you can recline upwards, and obviously with that almost 25 foot beam, you have plenty of areas over here to lounge at, super neat. And underneath this cushion is an owner's cabin. And this is no regular owner's cabin because it has amenities that you wouldn't usually find on an 88 footer. So when we talk about owner's cabin, we need to start from all the way outside. And this is where the owner's cabin really starts from, the experience for the owner's cabin. They have their own jacuzzi, which can, well, let's see uh, if we step inside. You know, I'm 6'1". Thank God there's no water right now. You can lounge over here, another person next to you, maybe somebody sitting in front of you. This is cool, sitting outside, looking out with cup holders on either side. And, of course, your pop-up lights. So, voila. At night time, everything is super pretty, lit up. When you feel like you're getting tired from the jacuzzi bubbles, you can always just roll out and enjoy the seating lounging area right next to you. Again, storage on the side. So all the cleaning devices like you see over here, everything can be hidden away and easily accessible for the crew or for you. Also, all your lockers for your winches and your uh, for your chains, for your anchors. Obviously you have one anchor on either side, so two dual anchors. And you also have a big storage for your uh, fenders and accesses to your cameras, etc. right over here as well, which is very neat. And whenever you feel like you're tired and you want to access to your cabin, owner's cabin that is, you can easily do so right behind your jacuzzi at the bow. As you walk down from the stairs, first thing you have is you have your head. So you have your head on your starboard side and a proper walk-in shower, which I don't, this is not even a normal shower anymore. This is like a, I mean, as you know, uh, Sirena Ayats are being built in Turkey and I feel like this can easily be a proper Turkish sauna because you have a very nice seating area over here, rain shower above you, nice handheld shower, Nice light, natural light that comes in. And obviously, of course, you have a porthole. So if you want to do let fresh air inside, you can do that. And if you need more privacy, you can get that as well. So very neat. Dual sinks, one on either side. And while you're washing your hands or doing your teeth before you go to sleep, you also have a great view out through the water in your jacuzzi. Very nice. And if you want to have more natural light, voila, you will now have a seating skylight above you as well. Once you walk into your uh, bedroom or sleeping quarters, you have a nice makeup table or vanity table with a pop-up mirror. So when the ladies are getting ready, they can easily look at themselves. You have a nice storage over here for your, for your nitty gritty. Now, right behind me is where your closet there is, more storage area and a hanging closet for your old clothes. Very nice. Speakers right above you. So nice stereo and you also have a TV over here. I have to say, I don't know if you can move this TV because, oh, I think you can. I don't know how, but I tell you that it does move. So otherwise it would have make no sense you sleeping over here and the TV is on a weird angle. So the way it seems to be moving is it pivots out and you can see it from the bed while you're lounging over there. You have these doors you can close so it gives you privacy and it has mirrors over here. So full size mirror. So if you want to make sure that you look nice while you're getting ready, you can do that. And also what's really neat is on both sides, you have truly an oversized windows, it really lets in a lot of natural light with another seating area and some more storage towards the bow or on your starboard side as well. And not to mention more storage Oh, fantastic, you see somebody forgot all their clothes. So you can see how many shirts you can fit inside the closet on your starboard side. Again, when you close the door, you have another full size mirror where you can check one last time. All your lighting controls, your AC control, your power outlets, and 
active intercom system. So when you do want to talk with your crew, you can easily do that by just clicking which area you want to talk with and you can do that. Neat feature. As we leave the owner's cabin, what's really important to mention is all the finishings are really nicely done. All the doors have nice leather inserts and chrome finish to divide the leather inserts and also the door handles have very nice leather covering with a stitching behind. So when you're opening a door, it feels like you're opening a very nice solid door and it, it feels premium. Right behind the owner's cabin is your day head, which guests can use while you're out and about. And what's great is they're really utilizing the space by not making the doors swing in and out to lose space and so making it super tight quarters uh, for passengers on board. They have these hideaway doors. So now I have my private quarter. And if I want, I just close it up. What's neat is on this side, you have leather and on the other side, you have more mirror. So it gives you, uh, you know, ways to look at yourself that you look, look dapper. Uh, mirror also facing forward sink and a porthole for fresh air as well. If, if you're confused by now where we are at the boat, we'll put a full floor plan of the boat on the screen with a red dot to indicate where we are located right now. We're going deep down to the guest rooms. You have handrails on both sides. So you have a nice handrail over here as you go down and you have handrail on your right hand side. As we walk down, plenty of headspace. It's really nicely done slanted over here. So as you walk down, 6-1, I have plenty of space above my head. And as I walk, I don't have to duck myself anywhere. And as I get down here, you have these nice metal finishes on both sides. And behind, you also have a coffee machine. I guess you can put whatever you like over here. If you like tea, you can put your tea machine over here. But it's neat, so you don't have to grab, your guests don't have to uh, go upstairs to grab a coffee. They can easily do it from here. And they have plenty of storage areas as well. And now we're gonna head towards the first VIP cabin because there are really four cabins on this floor and I, I don't know which one is the VIP because they're both so big but this one is all the way now at the aft towards the aft. You have a full beam, windows on both sides, nice vanity table which we'll come back to but you have a very nice head with obviously a walk-in shower, nicely finished shower, natural light that comes in from the side and rain shower Nice marble finish. I mean, this is nice. Yeah. Now, also, same thing. Either way, doors, and it has a mirror on the other side, so it gives you. Even even when it's all the way closed, it feels very spacious here. Vanity tables, well, or your bedside tables, light controls, and also a nice vanity table compartments over here so you can keep all your things hidden away. Obviously this whole thing, shades go down, it gives you plenty of privacy and you also have a porthole, one on either side and also a hanging closet for all your goodies as well as a fully standing mirror. You know, this, is, this is a neat feature, I think a lot of boats should use that because when you open the cabinet door, there's no point having it empty you should just fill it with a uh, full-size mirror. So you have kind of like a two-in-one. So you have closet door and you have a mirror. I don't think that anybody would say no to that. And of course, you know, if you want to store away your valuables, you also have a shelf underneath. Now, if that storage is not enough for you or for your guests, you can easily use the storage drawers underneath the bed, giving you extra space to keep your items at. Once you're tired of storing your valuables, you also have a TV right in front of the bed so you can watch your favorite TV series. And when you do need to, you know, get your clothes washed, you can do that or your crew can do it. In the laundry room, you have proper washer dryer, separate units by Mila, and you also have a sink over here. So if they need to, you know, rinse some things down, they can do that. And this also has like a shower head. So they can move this wand wherever they like. And above, another porthole. And what's really neat is they have a hanging rod over here. So some of the clothes need to be hanging while they're drying, not to kind of wrinkle them. That's neat. And they also have an ironing board over here that folds open. You put this, I don't think that I don't know how to iron. I may know, but <laughs> you put this cover over and now your staff or crew can get your shirts all ironed out. Super neat. 
from the laundry room, we're heading to, I don't know if you want to call it the first guest cabin or the second guest cabin, but you have an additional cabin with two twin beds, one on either side, plenty of headspace. I mean, I've said it before, once you go over 80 feet, this is not something that you need to worry about. Uh, all the light controls over here. So if you want, you can turn all the lights off or turn all the lights on with the same button, which is fantastic. Another TV and plenty of space to keep your items at. And again, mirror on the other side of the door. Very neat. I know that those are nicely magnetic. And this is what I mean when I say that all the door handles, behind the door handles, there's a stitching. So this is what you feel um, when you open the door. As we open this one, magnetically stays closed and you have a head, a dry head with, you know, same thing. You can walk in, uh, you know, this is a guest cabin. This is not a VIP cabin, this is a guest cabin. You know how I can tell? Because this column over here is not marble. It's just regular white. The VIP cabin has a marble over here. So when you're coming on board, <laughs> You check what's the finish of your uh, shower wall, as you can tell if you're a guest of VIP. Sliding doors over here to check you're fine. And also behind here, if you don't want to check if you're fine, if you're, if you're already fine the way you are, you can eliminate the mirrors and you can just check outside and see if the weather is fine. I've never pushed this button. I'm not going to push it, okay? But uh, what I'm thinking is when you're walking out, maybe you're coming out at nighttime, somebody might have a wider shoulders. I think you might hit it, and in that case, you know, all hell will break, break loose, I guess. But so I would maybe move this one away from the from the white shoulders per se. But as we keep walking, uh, you have an additional guest cabin. Let me check the marble level. I'll tell you if it's a guest or VIP. Okay, this is a guest cabin, but it is a very nice. I mean, it's not maybe a queen size bed. It's almost a queen size bed, and of course. This guest room has its own uh, head as well, with sink, toilet, loo, and stand-up shower. Again, plenty of space above your head, with a nice bench to sit at, with a mirror to check if you're fine. You can check if the weather is fine. Nice uh, window with a porthole outside as well. Welcome to the lower penthouse of, <laughs> of the guest cabins. And why do I say that it's a lower penthouse? Well, number one, it's nicely like secluded. It's all the way to the bow. It has its own uh, very nice walk-in head, which you can see that is on the port side. And you have a walk-in closet on your starboard side. You know, and this one, which is neat, is you can actually, once again, close it up. It has a mirror on the other side. Very nice. Plenty of hanging areas. Safe. That's why I'm saying that it's so hard to save this is the first to the second VIP cabin because both are enormous. Three steps up and you arrive at the forward cabin with windows on both sides. Obviously, you can put the curtains up or down, whichever way you like. Another hanging closet on your starboard side. And again, all the, all the walls, all the panelings, nicely finished with leather. TV, your vanity table here. It's a very vanity, mini vanity with a mirror insert for your uh, little nitty-gritty but what's neat is actually they've actually made and cut this to the shape of the hole as the hole is coming uh, together at the front obviously uh, they try to utilize every inch of it and it takes the shape of the wall behind which is very nice now let's verify the fact that all the VIP cabins have marble shower columns and as we walk in Surprise, surprise, it is full marble from the guest cabin. We walk out and the crew has an access to the main helm station, which is right over here. This is your helm seat now and it feels like a bomber jet because the windows are narrower than in any other room. You also have a skylight above you. So if you do want to let natural light in, you can do that. And everything is at your fingertips, steering wheel, follows the theme of uh, the bigger the boat, the smaller the wheel, 88 feet. This is a proper size for an 88 footer. You have a joystick. You also have your bow thruster, your stern thruster, your throttle controls or your bilges. Everything is controlled from here as well as your ACR search light. And you have one screen dedicated just for the exterior cameras, 
which is really neat actually. You have starboard port side, everything is labeled, port side, starboard side camera, so you see as you come into dock. You also have a uh, stern, your swim platform area um, camera, very nice, as well as your engine room camera. So you know what? I mean, even though you have all these exterior helm stations, if you do need to, you can dock it from here. It may not feel comfortable because you don't have a you know, real life view, but I mean, everything is very nicely, nicely laid out over here. So not a bad place to cap capture this thing. Now, because this boat can go 2300 nautical miles almost. So when you want to take a little break from sitting, you can easily do that from right here. You can lounge here, put a pillow behind you, just like this. Yeah, maybe two pillows, whatever you like. Yeah, I'm okay going 20, 2,300 nautical miles. Why not? You just need to need to make sure that there's somebody at the helm station. But you know, this is good. So as you come down from the helm station, you it, it feels like this is very much like an open open walls over here, but you can close this out. So now, so either you don't want to hear your crew at the helm station or as an owner, maybe you want to have extra uh, sound insulation between you and the guests in the guest room, you can do that. It's very nice. Seating area, dining table for easily 10 people. You can see four and four, two on the other side. And you also have these sliding windows which is great, you can let a lot of natural light inside. Same thing on both sides, so a lot of natural light and a lot of fresh air that you can let inside. Plenty of area to really uh, dine at, obviously plenty of storage in front of you. This Cali, once again, is bigger than several New York City apartments. Starting all the way from the top, you have intercom system, you have obviously the door, which separates here. This store, we actually did an Alpha Fresco 125 it was, and it was it had a super cool automated door, which I think would work really well even on this boat. So, you know, maybe something to think on a future boat. Cooking area, full range above you, nice fridge, dual fridge, so you have plenty of space to keep all your uh, food at for a week long stay or a, maybe even a month long stay with a microwave convection oven and a proper Miele um, oven underneath as well. Not to mention additional fridge space. This is so brand new, it still has stickers on everywhere, but fridge space at the top and fridge or freezer space right below as well. You can change the temperature whatever way you like. Of course, storage all around. From the galley, you walk past the dining table and you arrive in your living room lounge area right in front of your window over here which you can come in from but plenty of space to again to keep all your nitty-gritty at and a tv that pops up so nice place to watch your favorite tv shows nice tables that you can you know use those as origami whichever way you like if you want to extend them out like this have multi-layer uh, cocktail holder you can do that oh this is actually comfortable this is very nice. Big windows, either side. Plenty of natural light that comes in. Has nice shades that come down. Also, speakers. I mean, there's so many speakers on the ceiling. That's pretty neat. So if you want to move these around, add more uh, space, maybe your card games, or if you want to play Monopoly, you can extend this whole table out. Plenty of space for that. I mean, it's really nice. Plenty of LED lighting that is all the way in the ceiling. One of the most asked questions by my wife is, does the boat have a button that opens the window? I think that's the first question she asks from me every single time. So, yes, it does have a button, so the door opens itself, which is very nice. You do not have to physically move anything. It does it itself, and at some point, it'll close automatically as well. So, you don't have to stay there to close it it'll do it for you. I believe it has a sensor, yeah, voila. You see, now I triggered it, but if we take a step back, voila.
and you hear how much it insulates the sound, like it becomes super quiet the moment you close the doors. That's nice. So let's go out. What's neat about this window is it actually opens much faster than it closes. So, you know, when you're in a rush, you don't want to wait for the window to open. It actually does it really fast. So it's very fluent. First thing in the aft tech, you actually have, again, same way like on the flybridge, you have two tables or you can make them as one big table. Very nice. Nice backrest over here for your, uh, for your seats and a wet bar. This is now a second wet bar. You can prepare all your drinks at. You have your ice maker and you also have fridges. So two top loading fridges. Very nice. Keep all your drinks prepared whenever you want. Nice spotlights at the top. And what's really neat is actually when there's too much sun coming in from the aft while you're sitting over here, you can add extra shade. With just the push of a button, this whole thing comes down. I, I really like this. I think this is super neat because, you know, the, the days are getting hotter, the summers are getting hotter. So giving extra shade from the elements um, is very nice. It goes all the way down. Yeah. Dude, this is not even just, just for the sun. Uh, if the mosquitoes are hitting you from the aft, there's a protection between you, you and the mosquitoes. Now, granted, they could fly in from around, but still. So on the both sides, you have on the starboard side and the port side, you have walkways that lead down towards the swim platform. First thing, you have a handheld shower to rinse yourself down. Now. Obviously, this wouldn't be appropriate for this kind of boat. This whole tender garage or a beach club opens up and you have a nice shower right above your head so you can rinse yourself down. And of course, you have this oversized swim platform that goes all the way into the water, giving you access to all the nautical adventures that may wait you inside the ocean. So when you're finding shade in the aft sun deck, you also have crew that needs shade. And let me take you to the crew quarters, which is on your port side. And there's a door that you just swing open. Voila. And this hallway takes you to the crew cabin. As we come down, I have to say this crew room is bigger than some of the boats, uh, owner's cabins that I've seen. And also it's really nicely designed and really nicely laid out. So you have a total of, you know, I mean, you can sleep four crew here. So on your uh, port side, you have two bunk beds. This is top and bottom, obviously. Plenty of storage, because these are the stairs that it comes down from. They've utilized every nook and cranny and even cut the closet doors to match and utilize and maximize the space for the crew. Very nice, as well as hanging closet for the crew. So plenty of storage over here you know, side uh, pocket doors, so they can have plenty of privacy. They have a nice galley over here with a cooktop, with a microwave, with a fridge, an addition of fridge, you know, the systems control unit over here, as well as a TV with more storage at the top and a table. This table pops up and you have these small stools that go around. So a great place to grab a bite at. And of course, an additional bed. This one is slightly wider, maybe a place for a captain. And you also have a pull-out bed that you can pull over as well. So adding a fourth uh, bed for the crew room. And they have their own head. Not a regular head, it's a dry head. Again, plenty of space. Nice one type shower here. Extend your water and I mean, this is plenty, plenty of space over here. A lot of headspace. And remember, this is, I mean, this is crew. This is not a guest cabin or anything, and it's, but it's really, really nicely laid out and great access. What's incredible is it's so quiet over here, but behind this door is the engine room and all the systems, except the engines themselves, are on right now. And we do not hear absolutely anything. There's no sound editing being done. So the insulation is, is incredible. So once we pull this, lever. Well, you can hear the sound. So, and when we walk to the engine room now, so the crew has a quick access to the engine room. So, 
We're gonna do some editing over here now. So this here is the engine room now. So you have two uh, Mon V12 engines. We put full specs about the engines uh, as well as your fuel tanks on the screen so you can see. But I mean, there's so much space. I'm six one. I can stand up. I have another maybe an inch above my head. So if whatever you need to do, you have easy access to. You also have a like a workbench. So maybe you need to cut some things or wiring. I, mean, I have no idea what you would do in this room, but you do have generators, dual generators on either side by quarter. You even have a sink. So if you want to wash your hands after, you know, doing a big engine work, we just finished doing, you can do that. Uh, you also have your systems uh, panel here for your electronics and access to your tender garage. Not to mention, you also have an access, well, like a third access to the engine room from uh, right above uh, by the lounge area at the aft. This was the full thorough walkthrough of the Sirena 88. If you are looking to buy your Sirena yacht, then visit yachtway.com because the authorized dealers like Jeff Brown Yachts on the West Coast of the United States, East Coast Yacht Sales in the Northeast of the United States, and soon to join Springbrook Marina, located in the Great Lakes area, are the authorized dealers for Sirena Yachts. So visit Yachtway and find your dream boat. And of course, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or recommendations, leave them in the comment section down below. See you on the next one.